Hello, it's week 20 of season 5 of The Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is Goober and the Art of Love. Barney? Andy and Helen and Thelma Lou and I, all neat in the courthouse one night, we're about to go to the movies. And then Andy takes me off to the side, and he says quietly, how about after the movie, let's all go down to the lake, and then each couple can split up. And then Goober comes in as we're leaving, and he hangs around until we invite him to go with us. And the next morning I tell Andy, I had a rotten time last night. Goober walked me and Thelma Lou home. He stayed right there with us. When I said goodnight to Thelma Lou, I had to shake her hand. And then his. I don't know what's the matter with them girls. Every time he comes around looking pathetic, they just invite him along. And Andy says we should get Goober a girl. And then he won't be hanging around us all the time. So you all go tell Goober that he might enjoy himself more if he had a girlfriend. And he, Andy asks him whether there's a girl around here that he likes. And he says, yeah, Lydia Crosswith. Yeah, he says he talks to her about her tires and her oil when she brings her car in. And I say, is that how you act towards girls, Goober? Don't you know anything? You don't start right off by talking about cars. And Andy says, yeah, ask her out for tonight. Call her up. Or just go over to her house and start talking about cars, but then move on to traveling, and then the weather, and then about how nice her house is, and then how pretty she is, and then maybe you can be holding her hand by the end of the night. And Goober says, okay, I'll try, much obliged. So he goes over that night, all cleaned up and dressed up, and she asks him to come in and sit down. And the conversation is real awkward at first, and then he tries to hold her hand, and that's real awkward, so he says good night and leans. And then he comes to me, and he says his date is already over. And I say, now don't panic, I'll pull you through. Andy is over and Helen's right now watching TV. Come on, good. And you all go watch Andy and Helen through Helen's window, and how they sit real close to watch TV, and then... How Andy puts his arm around her real casually, and then the kiss. But Goober gets so excited about the kiss, he starts whooping and hollering, and Andy comes to the window and gets mad, and we run off. And the next day, Andy tells me that he's not mad anymore. Helen either, even though she wants Andy to get some blackout curtains. And I say good, because this whole thing was his idea. I say, you're the one who wanted to get Goober a girl. And I did that for us. Thanks to me, he's going out with Lydia tonight. He learned something after all. And that night the four of us are playing bridge at Helen's house. But then Goober comes over with Lydia. So we all sit down and the conversation is real awkward. Lydia's not much of a talker. Not only that, but she shoots down Andy's attempt to talk about her dad's job and then his ideas for all of them to go to the movies and not pilot and then his idea to, to go bowling. So finally we agree to go for a car drive, even though Lydia says she gets car sick. And then we argue about where the six of us are all going to sit in the car, and then Andy has to walk back to get Lydia's hair ridden out of the street because she was hanging her head out the car window like a dog. And the next morning I tell Andy, well, I think we ought to tell him. I think we ought to come right out and tell him. I'm worried that if we don't, he'll want to bring Lydia with us to the dance tonight. But then Goober comes in and says they're not going to the dance. He's going over to Lydia's house tonight. And he thanks us for our help, and we say it was nothing. And then Andy gives him some money to go buy some candy for Lydia. And y'all figure your Goober and Lydia problem is solved. But as the four of us are about to leave for the dance that night, Goober and Lydia come over again. They say they ate all the candy and had nothing left to do. So they say, can they come with us to the dance? But Lydia wants to walk, because she says all that candy made her nauseous. But then after the dance, you drop Thelma Lou off and then go sit with Andy and Helen at Helen's house. And you talk about Goober still being a problem, always hanging around. And then Andy says, Helen and I are going out for a pizza, Marnie, trying to hint that they want to be alone. And I say, hey, why don't we all do that? Come on, let's go. 
I'm going to talk to Guther. I'm going to lay it out for him. A test is a test. We'll see you next week for episode 21.